I was in Los Angeles for a quick trip and had limited time to sightsee. I decided to go to Griffith Park as it was one of the few places in LA I hadn't previously been. I had planned to go in the afternoon, but then heard that the parking lot on top of the mountain is usually full later in the day. And the only other parking would require me to walk up a very steep, long hill. So at the last minute, I jumped in my rental car and arrived at around 9 a.m. I was worried about the parking lot already being full, so I grabbed an open spot on the street just before the top. The parking on the mountain is $10 an hour. I tried operating the kiosks to pay, but none of them seemed to work. So I just hoped I didn't get a ticket. I walked the rest of the way up the mountain and of course discovered empty parking spaces on top. I didn't mind the exercise though, or the views on the way up. It was a pretty clear day for Los Angeles, so you could see all the way to the ocean. Griffith Park is huge and on this Saturday morning, there were hundreds of people all over the top of the mountain and out on the trails. Just to give you some perspective, this is a map of Griffith Park, and the area circled is the area I explored, just a small piece of a massive park. You can also see on this map the numerous trails that are great for hiking. When I looked out from the mountaintop, I could see trails crisscrossing in all different directions. Someone told me you could walk to the Hollywood sign, but that it was farther than it looked. I had to laugh because I thought it looked pretty far. Once on top, you will find the Griffith Observatory. I had planned to go inside, but it was closed. So I walked around on the outside of the building where there is a path that circumnavigates the structure and offers more splendid views. Looking out from the observatory, I saw a small trail that led to a lookout point, so decided I would venture there. It was a pretty steep trail, but manageable since it wasn't very far. These are some of the views from this vantage point. I then spent time walking all around the mountaintop, checking out the views from all sides. Since the observatory was closed, I walked back down to my car. I decided not to linger, as I was still worried about getting a parking ticket. I learned later that the observatory opened at 10 a.m., about the time I descended the hill. I'm not sure why I didn't check to see if it was opening. I guess I assumed it was closed because it was the weekend, but later learned it is open seven days a week at 10 a.m. So I missed the opening by a couple minutes. However, my main reason for going was to enjoy the park and the views, so that mission was accomplished. If you do want to see the observatory, I would recommend arriving at 9 a.m. if you want to get parking up top and then waiting for the observatory to open. If you are only interested in the park, there are parking lots at the base and you can hike to the top, but it is quite a long slog up the hill. The park was definitely worth the drive. However, I would check the weather and smog forecast before going. Having clear skies elevates the experience. Also, many people go to Griffith Park to watch the sunset, which would be fantastic, so you should consider that possibility too. If you'd like to follow more of my senior and solo travel journeys, please subscribe. Cheers.